Today for Mousetrap Monday, I have some really fun items to show you. I have some mackerel and tomato sauce. This is so good. Some liver paste. The kids are so happy on the package. This is delicious on toast. And a mousetrap. Now to me, these items mean one thing. They mean that my little sister is visiting from Norway. My little sister lives in Norway. She has a family over there. And two summers ago, my wife and I were able to visit them. It's such a beautiful country. I love seeing the sights, hiking, and eating their food. And one thing we had for breakfast was fish and liver. So good. So now whenever I see my sister, I ask her to bring me some of this delicious breakfast food. But when she was coming this year, I asked her to bring another item, a mousetrap. This isn't available here in the U.S. I haven't found it for sale. It's called the Rap 2. But this is a very common mousetrap in Norway. And he even won the Trap of the Year by the Norwegian Trappers Association. The Rap 2 was first patented on August 1st, 1989. And it holds patents in Europe, Canada, and the U.S. It looks like a really great design that I wanted to test out. So let's take it out of the package and see how it works. Here's what the Rap 2 mousetrap looks like out of the box. It's made out of brown plastic. It has a powerful spring on back. And to set this trap, it is so easy. You pull back the lever, the kill bar goes up, and it clicks into place. Now to bait it, you put some peanut butter or piece of cheese underneath. That way, the mouse wants to get the bait. They have to squeeze through this tight opening, which is a trigger. When they do, that kill bar comes down and you got them. Now I'm curious if the Rap 2 mouse trap deserves the title of Trap of the Year in Norway. So let's go set this up in the barn with motion cameras, see if wild mice will go in and get caught with this Norwegian mouse trap. Last night I set up the Rap 2 mouse trap from Norway in my filming studio and we got a mouse. To remove them you pull up this lever, give it a little flip. Now it took a little while to catch a mouse simply because there were so many other animals in there. At first we caught a shrew, the smallest mammal in the world, but it went in there and got caught. Also a rat came along and set the trap off. That gave it a pretty good scare. But I knew a mouse was in there so I just kept setting it and finally we got him. I love testing out different mouse traps from around the world. I'm posting between four and five rodent trap videos a week. So if you want to see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned. And oh, some of you might be curious about the other souvenirs I got from Norway, the liver paste and fish. I know those food items don't have anything to do with mouse traps, but they remind me of Norway. So let me show you what they look like and I'll give them a taste. Here's what these food items look like out of the box. They come in a handy serving size and to open them up, you pull up this tab. There's the liver and the mackerel. Now these are really good spread on bread. I also like to eat them with crackers. Let's go give them a taste. So we have our liver and our mackerel fish and some of my kids don't want to taste it. I'm going to see if Clementine likes it. I'm going to start with the liver. Now the liver has anchovies mixed in and it's not a strong liver taste. It's kind of mild. Imagine a bologna that's pureed or a Vienna sausage, something like that. It's a paste. I like it. Do you want to taste it? No. No. She doesn't want it. You guys want any? Mm. Mm. Uh -huh. I could eat this every morning. You do want a bite, huh? Tell me what you think it tastes like. Ah. Just stick your finger in there. Mm. What does that taste like? Good or bad? Is it good, Carson? Is that good? Do you want some more? Mm. Carson, is it good? That's pretty good, huh? Carson, is it good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Carson likes it. This is the mackerel. It's in a tomato sauce, and it reminds me of sardines. I didn't want... I, mm, didn't, I like that. I do, don't want to taste that. You don't want to taste mm. that? Mm -hmm. Let's see if Clementine wants a little bite. Mm. Nope, she doesn't want it either, and Sterling's hiding, but I like it. Thanks to my little sister for bringing these great items from Norway, especially the mousetrap that worked well.